Right, hey guys, and welcome back to another map tour. So, this is called the Forgotten Lands. So, I'll just quickly read up a description about the map. So, welcome to Forgotten Lands. So, this map is a fictional map of an area that is completely abandoned, but you can start a new civilization. The map offers a train station, a train station where you can sell all in-game products and platinum products, eight forest areas to cut trees, birch trees are by Oscar, 85.99, and Pixel Farms, old red rusty train that runs straight throughout the map, AI spines for gravel roads, medium-sized seat farm, farmhouse with, in with interior, 3D texting on buildings, precision farming ready, vehicle shop, and mobile buses. It does require two required mods. I have tried to, again to load up the mo map without the mods, and well, it looks, it don't look right at all. So you need the old grain mills and the silo lizard. If you are on console, as I say, those two maps will automatically download themselves. So. I will just get started. So this is the PDA. Nothing actually changes apart from that you've got sheep. You do get quite a bit of snow, according to that forecast. There's no different crops in, there's no crops being removed. But that's the PDA. Now, looking at each plot that you start off with, it's 5,663. 5, it is, however, £92,000 that is in the balance. That is because I have done a few alterations around the map. Not major ones that's changed the maps dramatically. It's because I bought a vehicle and realised that we did all we have a vehicle owned. So the map, the plots are fairly cheap. 19,000, 27,000. The dearest one is this plot number 9, which is at 64 grand. Now, according to my logic, you can't buy the outside of the map. But it's like a No Man's Land vibe. So basically what you see, it's like set on no man's land. I don't know. It, it's got that no man's land feels. Apologies for my phone again. It's got that really no man's land feel apart from the train that doesn't run through the map. Which, I don't know. I like that. Right, so. I am going to start the map. We do own a few equipment. We own medium tactics, Stoics Faf, JCB Fast Track, and the Massey Ferguson. The JCB's got some arrows on it. Half a start, we own the New Orleans Agricultural. Cars is that one. Crampy half pipe trailer. The 28 foot Edda. The Lemkin Cultivator. A Power Harrow K brand. K brand Cedar. K brand Mower. Pottinger Tedder, if you're wondering why I'm saying K brand, it's because if I say the actual name I get mo I get demonetized and I get a copyright. So that's why I'm saying K brand. K brand is easier to say than anything else. As DJ will know. K brand Windrower, Stratchman, Forage Wagon, Yuskin Trailer, Quickie front loader quickie front loader to match the pallet fork and bucket a low loader a header trailer all we own is plot one which is basically the farmyard those silos that i was talking about and this field now that's given me good vibes 
and that's the trailer obviously busted down now i'd say you can cut down the trees if you are wanting to do forestry this is a sheep pen however i'm just gonna buy one sh oh i can't just buy one sheep no two sheep will do and they just take the standard of grass now it doesn't say out about hay which is leading me to think that they don't take hay they probably do yeah i wouldn't advise cutting down these trees unless you really want to be faffing about messing about with picking them all up and things i wouldn't advise it it makes a really good survival map anyway and we've got a green trailer which i'm assuming you can't ch oh you can change the color this this version of the game you can change the color of that trailer i like that All the equipment is dirty, which is why the Miss Modder has given you a presser washer to clean it all off. So, how do I go about looking at this map? You know what? I'm going to just look at it as a flyover. So I think it's this way, it definitely follows a path. Yeah, this is an alright map. It's okay for a survival type series, I would say. Yeah, if you are going to be doing any type of logging, I'd definitely look at logging these trees. They're much easier to work with. Now, where the... So yeah, that's the old grain mill. As I say, you put in, what, the flour and things, and, well, no, you put in all the other products and you can turn it into, you can turn it into anything, basically. So you can turn it into the flour types, you can turn it into the oil types, and you can turn it into pig food if you've got all the ingredients. Now, the Platinum Expansion Palettes are not... Well, they're not required on this map. But, I've no idea if they still work. I do need to perform some testing. So yeah, this is the vehicle shop up here. I know I'm not driving around, but it's just easier just to fly over things on this version and then you've got down here you've got the selling points the train by station the sawmill and everything else that is on the map so i'm just wondering can i rent the train So it will arrive in 1.8 kilometers, 1.7. But yes, I personally like this map. It's not too basic, I'd say, but it is ideal for a nice start from scratch series, survival type series.
So it is showing us coming. I wonder which way it comes from. The other way. I bet it. I bet it comes from. I don't know. Hmm. that way it comes in from this way oh that's like the Raven Park train now this is nice inside I am going to do a bit of a So yeah, this is the train guys And it just runs straight across to the edge of the map now obviously you haven't got anything to put in it, but if you did, you will be able to sell it. But I like this map. It's perfect for a survival series. Yeah, it really is. It's perfect for any type of survival. The train will now go to Deerland. Oh, so that's another map then. Or we turn on the other side of the map. So yeah, that's another type of map that it is. But yes. If you have enjoyed this map tour, I know it's very brief. Please make sure to like. Well, to comment down below if you'd like me to do a survival based series on here. Like subscribe to the channel if you are new this might be the next no man's land style series and until the next episode i hope to see you all again very soon bye for now